Hi there, once again, welcome to Audio Tech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add videos to your website using HTML. Okay, so as you can see, this is a very simple web page I created, and then I've embedded a video on this website that you, that you can play just like you, you have on YouTube. Okay, so you have all the volume controls and everything. You can play this video. I've actually even added a cover page to it. You can play this video, you can turn on the volume, you can increase it to a full size screen, also reduce that, and then also the play speed, you can do adjustment, you can do every other thing, you can forward and do every control over this video, okay? So we're gonna learn how to can add this video to a web page and then do some few adjustments to that, okay? So let's jump right into action and see how we can go about this. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial and also remember to like, share this video. So let's jump into action and see how we can add a video to a web page using HTML. Okay, so I'm going to go to my text editor. I'm using VSC code editor and you can easily download that and use as well. So I have my index page where I embedded my video. I have my style sheet where I added some few styling to my page. So I have a video file and I have image as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start this thing all from scratch and we can see how to go about this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I have a file over here. This is a file I use for my practicals, okay? So I'm gonna start with a new one. So this is the one we're going to use. I don't have the index page. I only have my video in this folder. I also have my image which I'll use for my poster. The poster that will display before the image will play. Uh, the poster that will display before the video will play will show. And then I have a folder for CSS. I currently don't have anything in it. We're going to write our own simple CSS to do that. So I'm going to, within my text editor, I'm going to go to file and then I'll go to open folder. And I'm going to open those fo the folder onto my page, okay? So my folder is on my desktop, which is this HTML video. I'll just select this and then open this. So basically, this is what we're going to use to do our entire coding. Okay, so with this open, all we need to do now is create our index page. So I have my video. I'm going to click on file and then type in index.html. Okay, so I have this setup. I have this page. And then within the CSS as well, I'm going to create a file within this and call it style.css. Okay, so this is going to be style.css. So these are the two files we're going to work with. Okay, so on the index page, I'm going to generate my HTML template at least for the start. So you can just press shift and then the one key on your keyboard is going to give you option. You press the shift key and one to give you give this. So when you press the shift key and then one on your keyboard, it's going to give you this exclamation sign. You just hit the tab key and it's going to generate this simple HTML template for you. We're going to give the title video. Okay. Let's leave the title as video and then within the body, we're going to type, we're going to create a div, a div class. Within this div, I'm going to give you the class called container. So I will call this class container. Okay. And then within this container, I'm first going to give a header, h1 header, and I'll say what, HTML video. Okay, so we can load this in the browser and see our progress. So I'm going to go to my main file and then now I can have access to my index page. Okay, so we're going to have just the HTML video with no background. So we can start doing the rest of our changes. And we first need to link our CSS within our header. So down here within the header, the title, I'll just say, so within the header, I'm just going to say link. So this is going to be what is link and it's going to be CSS. So I created a folder for the slash and then I'm going to select my CSS. Okay, so the style of CSS. And then now when we write any program, anything within our CSS, it's actually going to apply to our page. You can see how the font and everything is looking. 
as compared to the font we used over here so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to give select the body and then i'll give it a unique font okay so body and i'm going to say font so i'm going to get the font family and i'm going to go with i'll go and select area habitica and then sans serif so i'll add some four back fonts as well so area habitica and sans serif so with this if i go back and load my page it will change the look of my font so you can see my font is looking quite better now i'm going to add a container actually to i'm going to add a css to my container so i'll just call my container here because it's a class i'll use a dot container and i'll give it a width of I'm going to give it a weight of 600 pesos. Okay. If I give a weight of 200 pesos, I'll reload this page. And we shouldn't see anything up to this stage. And then when we start writing some few things, we'll see how this is going to look like. I also give a background to my web page. So I'm going to say background. I'll give it a, a gray background color. Okay. And this. And I load this on the page, the background should have a gray color. Okay, so we can go ahead and then embed our video. So let's go to our main page and within our container, after the each one header, I will add a horizontal rule. Okay, I'll add a horizontal rule, which is going to add some rule to BS beneath this. You can see if you compare to our main design, our final project, over, you can see you have some rule below this. Okay, so now we're going to center everything in the middle after adding the video. So what I'm going to do is that just below this, I'm going to use a video tag, this, and within this video tag, the source is where I have my video, and it's within this video folder. So I'm just going to say video slash, and you can see my dripping effect. That's the name of my video. If you come here, that's the name of my video. And you can even indicate the type of the video. So you can just say type at least for browser compatibility so you can see type so that's going to be video slash mp4 okay so when i go back and then load this in my browser you can see the video appear in my browser but you can't see anything as this stage you can't play this video you can't do anything about this video in order to have those control play pause the video we'll add another property just before the video tag here and then we'll say controls okay we we'll just add these controls over here so when i go back and i reload this page you can see now i have controls so i can play this video i can increase i can forward this i can get a full screen of this i can reduce and i can do several things but we are not done yet you can see we need a cover for this image okay that's going to be a poster before the image the image will play go to youtube we normally call it a, a thumbnail okay a thumbnail we need to display that before our video will play so in order to do that i'll add another property here just after my control and i'll call it poster okay and the poster i'm going to use is within my image folder here so i'm going to say image so i'm going to add it within the poster here slash and i'm going to select this so this is going to be my poster which will display before my video when i load this one you can see at least you have a fair knowledge about the video that's going to be played okay so you can see the size is very big in order to control this we need to give a width to the entire video and then i'm going to give you the same width as a container okay i give 600 to the container and i'm going to give 600 over here as well okay so go back reload this and then it's appear very nice now you can see it's now within the window so now the poster is not fixed within the video so we're going to go ahead and then center everything now okay so within the css within the css we can just set a margin for this container so you can see margin you can set the top to be 50 pixels and the top button will be 50 pixels Top bottom 50 50 pixels and the left and right is going to be what auto so let's go back and then reload this you can see this is actually aligned right at the center of this page 
so let me just try zoom in a bit you can see and we just want to position the title of this video right in the middle so in order to do that all we need to do is to target the h1 header we have the h1 header yes within our container so we can first call a container this way container then we call our h1 target h1 and table and use the text align property and then we say center okay so this is going to actually center everything put the title right in the middle of this so you can see now we have the h the HTML video, the title right at the center. We have our poster, which at least gives us what the video is about. That's basically a thumbnail. And then we have the duration. We have the volume. We can enlarge this. We can change the play speed. We can play this video. So we have the controls and everything. You can mute this. You can forward. So we have been able to embed this video on this page neatly using just HTML within some few minutes. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. Like and then also share this video till I come your way again. Bye bye.